Welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. In the last episode, we defeated the Boogeyman, who I think was Napier, the person we killed in the shower. And on their body was the keys to freedom, which are the boat keys that the DJ told us about. So I guess our next mission is to go to the boat? I feel like there's still quite a bit left, though. Especially side quest stuff. I mean, I still need to give the... I need to give the coat to the beggar, I need to find all the shadow sigils, I need to let out all the birds, I need to find all the paintings. So hopefully I get a chance to do that, because I feel like, I mean, if we leave on a boat, that feels like pretty much the end of the game, right? So we're in the morgue of the monastery. Where do I go exactly? Can I go down here? Ah. Oh! This light! This, uh, this is probably going to lead to that place where... Remember I went down the ladder? And it took me to a place like this, and there was like three different places that were blocked off, and I couldn't do anything there, except one place had a light. That's probably this light. This probably leads out there. Yeah, this is that spot, except this thing here is just mysteriously opened for no reason. Just, I mean, I guess it's because of Silent Hill, right? The town kind of does what it wants. Oh, right, and you go up the ladder just by touching it. Didn't really want to do that yet. Hmm. I don't have a melee weapon, and I don't want to waste my shotgun ammo on common enemies. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's one of those ceiling climbers down there. Remember last time I came down here was when it was... when the game was bugged and all the enemies were avoiding me for some reason? So now I'm let loose in the town once again, so I want to do all the side quest stuff. And where do I... I guess I keep going down this road to get to the boat, probably. That's where it seems to be suggesting I go. But I don't want to go there just yet. Don't you dare scream at me. <laughs> that actually worked. I'm just trying to find my way back to the beggar so I can give them the coat, see what places they unlock. And keep them warm, of course. I actually do want to help them. Anybody trying to survive in Silent Hill, I mean, Christ, God knows they need the help. I can't seem to get there from Chastain Heights, though, because these are locked from this side. Maybe that gets unlocked when I give them the coat. So I need to keep going further back, and while going back, I found... Something, uh, a ladder, that can be taken down. Looks like there's a little bit of a hint to go there, too. Some weird marks. Ooh. Ooh. I think we just entered a haunted house. A gramophone, bloodstains on the walls, looks really old, huge paintings of vaguely creepy looking people. So is this somewhere we've been? 
Not that I would be able to tell. I have no damn idea. Open inventory. Okay, so I can probably find a record then. I don't still have the one from the theater back there, no. I need a record first. I'll save upstairs for later. They have a lot of children's clothes. A lot of children's clothes. Big family? Also, apparently, all the kids like the same dress. Ah, just the chair. trail going up the stairs. They were obviously very rich to afford a place like this. Oh. Is this where the blood came from? Or ended? A record. children's rooms. Uh, another noose. I think they maybe overdid it on the, the nooses. Oh yeah. I've seen that doll once before. I was holding a knife. Oh. Maybe the gramophone is missing a crank too. That would have been easy to miss. I think that's it. Yeah. What the hell's gonna happen when I play this record? Nothing good, surely. It's useless without the handle. just a haunted house theme. Oh, I just realized somebody appeared. <laughs> oh. Turn back time. Turn back. What does that mean? Ah, uh, maybe we reverse the record? Is that the husband? Yep, they killed their wife.
Oh, shit. Jesus. Uh, I can't... See them? Not even with the UV light? Oh. Nope. Wilhelm scream. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, whispering voice. Yep, there's a little quest to put the victim's souls to rest, and that's been done. Don't think anything else in the house has changed. I looked around. Glad I could help them. What was that noise? Wait, have I been down here? I don't think so. That's where it sounded like the noise was coming from. In between the movie theater... I probably have been down here looking at the map. This is probably how I got to the street. Is that a door that can be opened? It would show up on the map if it was, right? It's not listed. I'm not gonna, gonna bother fighting you. Alright, let me get back to the beggar and give him the coat. Actually, never mind. Hold on. Uh, this is the theater. I just tried to use the door as I was running away from that enemy. And uh, this took me to the theater. I feel like I've maybe been inside here once, but then I left pretty quickly or something. I'm not sure. Um, let's explore it, especially because I actually have something for the theater. A bulb. Replacement bulb for use in a movie projector. Man, I want to use the lighter because it makes it easier to see and you walk slower. So you can really look around at stuff, but it's also so zoomed in, it's kind of nauseating. And then I could switch to a normal flashlight, which is much better, although not perfect, but then I might miss special clues from the UV light. Yeah, I mean, look at that. There's something weird on the ground. And, uh, oh, I think that's wheelchair tracks again. blood back here. Is there like a... Oh! I didn't even see that. Cool. Alright, well we have a replacement bull for a film projector. We have a film reel. I think we're going to be playing a movie. I'd like to think this is just one big stall with two toilets. You know, sometimes you're talking and you don't want to stop the conversation. Wait. There's whispers in here. There it is again. Is it 
just in the bathroom? Doesn't seem to be out here. More money. I love that there's like two things that Murphy Pendleton can open. Cash registers and one particular type of dresser drawer. Sparks. Hmm. <laughs> it's a rocking chair in the, one of the bathroom stalls and another film. Okay. So freaking dark. I like this carpet. Tons of footsteps there. I think those are footsteps. Usually that indicates there's something to do there. Maybe something will open up. Fix the projector. I can do that. Hopefully that's all it needs. I know how to do it. Okay. Is there like a switch or or is it just playing? Film Splicer WC-40. Film splicing guidelines. Only authorized theater employees may access the film splicing equipment. I guess I'm going to be splicing those different film reels that I found. Uh, it can be used to join two or more segments of film to create a single edited piece, seamlessly joining reel A to reel B. Many of the film reels stored within the Silent Hill film archive are decades old and irreplaceable. Always wear protective gloves before handling film. Before loading the film splicer, ensure that the film you're using has been cleaned in a methyl chloroform solution. The repair adhesive will not bind to wet film. Ensure that all film segments are thoroughly dry before attempting to splice two film segments together. Ensure that you provide at least 24 to 27 inches of leader tape for the start of each new reel before splicing additional film segments to it. The film splicing equipment is solely for the use of repairing damaged films or joining two shorter sequential reels into a single reel. Any other alterations or edits must first be cleared with a copyright holder. Oh. 
Oh, that's probably... That's gotta be the equipment in here. I see, like, two things that look like they could hold reels. That's probably the film splicer. Yeah. Nothing on the control panel, right? Nope. You never know if you might find one that has, like... You know that puzzle where there's, like, greasy fingerprints or, like, some of the numbers are worn down more than others to tell you what numbers you have to enter? You gotta kind of figure out the order. But they don't seem to do that. Oh, third one. Huh, it's another chocolate bar vending machine. Maybe if I hadn't already gotten one and given it to that person, uh, the... It was the... Yeah, it was the beggar that wanted food. I don't like calling him the beggar. It was the homeless person that wanted food. I guess if you hadn't have already done that, this would probably be able to be used. literally can't see where I'm walking. Fresh food is good. So I need the damn passcode. Ah, I missed a really tiny hotspot for inserting the film into this thing. It's really small. Look, look, look at this. Nothing. Open inventory. Nothing. <laughs> it's just, you gotta stand right here. Okay. These, oh, I think it's really blurry, but they have stickers that say, this one's one of three, two of three, and then three of three, so I guess there is only three. These probably contain the password, I'm guessing. I can sort of view it from here. Just the one picture? It's not much of a movie. Screen. It looks real. Am I going to be entering it? Oh, that's why there's so many footsteps there. You can walk into it? Oh my god. <laughs> that is so fucking cool! Oh my god, I'm entering the films. That is so much cooler than just looking for numbers on a screen. So can I just walk back here and that just takes me back out? Through the screen? Yeah. <laughs> please, please go back. Oh. Oh no, it shuts off when you leave. Okay, so I think this tape is called The House on the Lake. And it's one of three, so I'm assuming I should do this sequentially. Got those old school camera movements. Angles, whatever you want to call them. Why did that move? Why did that trash can lid move? I can't go over there. I don't know if I'm gonna like starring in this film. This place is definitely haunted. Got a crank. The dresser really looks like it can be opened, but I can't.
<laughs> wheel marks just go to a blank wall. Nothing suspicious about that. So where do I put this crank? Don't see a gramophone around here. That was a cool angle looking from the stairs. Yeah. I like that. The door looks partially open like I can go in, but... Oh. I go over here, I can't seem to. Guess I'll try going back outside. Maybe there's a gramophone in the yard? Or maybe I can go to the other building? There's a door over here. Very hard to spot. Right, I don't know if that helped. <laughs> Is there something written on the back of the door? Well, I guess that's why it's easy to miss. It doesn't actually matter. The crank said it was a film prop, or a, a crank for a film prop. Made me think maybe I had to leave the screen and then use it on something here in the theater, but as soon as I left, as you'd probably expect, the item disappeared from my inventory, so it does have to be used within the little short film thing. Which means I'm definitely missing something for the first one, but nonetheless, let's try the second one. I think this one is called The Silent Children. Is that a puzzle box of some sort? Wants me to use something on it. Probably something I have to find in the movie, I would bet. I love the look of this scene. Yeah, it's got a really cool mood. Look at those curtains, they almost look like spider webs, but I'm pretty sure they're just very, very raggedy, worn curtains. Yeah, this scene right here feels kind of like old school Silent Hill. Like this scene right here could almost be a PlayStation 2 thing on like from Silent Hill 3 or something. Four. Okay, let me take a picture of that. Why wouldn't you go up the ladder? Is this where I came from? Oh no, I'm I just left the movie, didn't I? No! Once again I couldn't progress, so I'm getting the hunch that I need to find the bits of the password to get into the splicing room within each totally fragmented film reel in that I can only actually like follow the plot, like where the tracks went into the walls in the first one, or in the second one where they went up a ladder but I couldn't go there. Maybe I can only follow the plot in each movie once I've spliced it together. So before that, I just need to find the clues for the password for the splicing room. The secret of the attic. Are these all part of the same movie? Are they segments from it? 
right? Because in the last one I was trying to go up, and now this one's called the Secret of the Attic, so maybe that's where it goes. I just left, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> I wish they indicated where is going to go back a little bit more clearly. Yeah, same ambience as the last one. I think it is a continuation of it. I've gotten a quest for it. These numbers, what numbers? I see a one on the window? It's pretty hard to spot, actually. If they didn't mention it, I might have missed it. I probably missed some numbers in the first film, because I didn't spot any. Maybe the keys from the puzzle box or something like that. So I guess my ultimate goal is to open this, but obviously I can't do that just yet. The numbers must be for the splicing room. They have to be. So I've got three of the digits, 24 and one. Yeah, so in the first film, I just found this. I think it's a zero on the wall, or maybe a nine? There we go. Yeah, so it was just the four digits. And sequentially from the first film to the second film to the third film, so it was a uh, nine. I realized that it definitely is a nine and not a zero because there is no zero on the keypad. And then it was the 24. That was right next to the ladder that went up. And then it was the one on the window, and the third one, the attic. I need all three reels. I already got them. Ooh, really small hotspots. Come on. Let's close that door. <laughs> Where's the hotspot? That's to open the door to get out. I need all... Oh! Oh, I need to grab the reel out of here, don't I? Otherwise I just won't activate or whatever. If I splice them together. Are you obeying copyright, Murphy? I have to contact the copyright holders. So just automatically did all three? Yes. The secret of the child at the lake. So this should allow me to move from film to film now that they're joined together. That's really cool. That's a really cool idea. So it's all the same as before so far. Whatever's going to be different is going to allow me to progress to the next thing. So what is the wall going to open? Oh, the wall's a door now. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. So now this crank handle can be used to open the box, which probably gives me the key. I can actually go up the ladder, yep. And use the key, so what the heck is gonna be in here? Oh, I hear enemies nearby. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste my ammo on you. I can't see, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> okay. Camera angle's not very conducive to combat. I healed myself, so I'm fine. Hmm. 
So is that really all I get? This isn't a unique pistol, right? If it's just the same pistol I've gotten before, plus two bits of ammo, that's really not amazing. Oh, it's a special golden gun. <laughs> I wonder if it actually does more damage, or if it just looks cool. Well, I gotta keep it, right? More enemies on the way out. I'm just gonna run past them. Why fight them? Woo! Oh, come on. Oh, I see. I was behind the door. That was weird. Get around. Hope it was worth it. If it doesn't do more damage, then it certainly wasn't. Bronze trophy cutting room floor. I'm not so sure about the end of that quest, but the trip there was very cool. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head to the homeless person and give them a warm coat.